hello everyone in this tutorial we'll look at the sounds category and we'll go through all of the code blocks of sound category and we also have looked at sounds before in one of our tutorials which was sprite sounds and in that video we went to the sounds tab and actually looked at how we can play it how we can edit our sounds and how we can use these buttons as well to edit those sounds but in today's video we'll actually use our sounds in our code so let's start with play sound until done now this is a code block which will play our sound but it won't execute the other code unless this sound is completely played so let's say you have another code block underneath it and if you'll play it won't actually execute the next code block until this sound has been completed so first of all I'll just run this sound so we can hear that sound and let's demonstrate the until done part so what I'll do is I'll go to look section and drag this say hello for two seconds code block and now when I'll run this we'll notice on the right hand side is that this say block won't be shown on the screen until my sound has completed so let's run this code again and just look at the right hand side and we just saw that until this sound was completely finished our next code block didn't execute now we'll look at the next code block which is start sound and this code block is pretty similar to the play sound until then the only difference is that it will actually allow us to execute the next code block even if our sound is not completed so I'll first simply play this and we can hear that it played our sound but let's go to the looks category again and I'll drag the say hello for two seconds and now if I'll play this if you'll notice on the right hand side that once I play this the sound will be played as well as it will show the speech bubble on the screen so it won't actually wait till the sound is completed so I'll play the sound and look it also displayed the say hello speech bubble now let's look at our next code block which is stop all sounds now this code block basically stops all sound when our sound is playing and it doesn't even wait for it to finish it just stops it immediately now to, to demonstrate it what I'll do is I'll actually record my own sound because this cat sound is a bit small so it's hard to demonstrate it and we can also learn how we can record our own sound so let's go to the sound tab and at the bottom left we can see that choose a sound and we can record our own sound and here when I'll click this record button I can record my sound so let me click this button ding 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 so here I recorded my sound and I can edit it as well so let's change it a bit and let's run it ding ding ding, ding. and I can save my sound and what I'll do is I'll just give it a proper name let's say my voice and now we can see that our sound is saved and let's use this in the code block to demonstrate stop all sounds so what I'll do is I'll change this start sound from meow to my voice and we can look here that in the menu I have my voice option so I'll select that and what I'll do is I'll play the sound and immediately I'll click this stop all sounds so what will happen is it won't actually completely play the sound and by clicking this stop all sound my sound will stop immediately so let me click it ding ding ding, ding. and you can see that as soon as I clicked stop all sound my sound stopped now let's look at the next code block which is change pitch effect now change pitch effect will actually change how our sound is basically uh, played and you'll see the difference once I'll demonstrate it so what I'll do is I'll play the sound and I'll select the cat sound here meow and I'll also drag another one but this time I'll change the effect and then play the sound 
so you will actually see the difference once I'll play it so let me run it so you hear that this sound was pretty different because at first we didn't had any pitch effect but after the pitch effect the sound was a bit different now we also have another option called pan left and right and this is a bit difficult to demonstrate because let's say if I set the value to 100 what will happen is it will only play your sound on your left hand side of the headphone or earphone and you'll actually listen it quite clearly that your right hand side headphone won't actually play the sound so it's better for you to write this code and you'll hear the difference now let's look at the next code block which is set pitch effect 2 now this set is also pretty similar to change the only difference is that the set actually sets this value which we have given the change basically adds or deducts whatever the current value is so let's say my current value is 100 and let's say if I set it to 20 so the change will add 20 to 100 but let's say if I set it to 20 so if I'll run this code then my pitch will be set to 20 it won't add or deduct it from my current value now let's look at clear sound effect which is our next code block and this code block basically clears all the effects which we have previously done so what I'll do is I'll copy this code underneath it and then we'll play the sound then what we can do is we can change the pitch by 50 again and in the in just previously we have seen that once I change the pitch my sound is a bit different but what I'll do is I'll copy this clear sound effect again and then we'll play the meow sound again now you'll hear that after the pitch changes the sound effects will be cleared and then you'll hear exactly the same sound so I'll run this code and we hear that the after changing the pitch I cleared the effect and then we heard the same sound as above now let's look at our next code block which is change volume by now change volume by basically increases or decreases our volume and this is also hard to demonstrate so it's better for you to take a headphone or earphone and write this code and change the volume now change volume will will basically add or deduct the volume from your current volume and the next code block which is set volume to the, basically this code block will also change your volume but it will exactly set the number you have given inside here so to demonstrate it what I'll do is I'll bring my next code block which is volume and let's go to the looks category and bring the say block and I'll also go to the operations and bring the join block and what I'll do is I'll write here my volume is and I'll put this volume inside here and let me set the volume to let's say 50 and I'll run this code and now if I run the say block we can see that my volume is set to 50 but if I do a change volume by 10 so what it will do is it will add 10 to this 50 so what I'll do is I'll run this and now if I do a say you can see that now my volume is 60 so that's the difference between the set and the change code block so that's it for this tutorial in this tutorial we saw all these sound code blocks if you have any questions or you just want to ask something just comments below and subscribe this channel thank you